is Barszczbiały. And what is the difference between those two Polish Easter soups? Na oko, those two soups look very similar. So what exactly is the difference between them and how can you tell it? In this video, I would like to take you on a journey of making Żurek and Barszczbiały from scratch. To compare those two soups, we're gonna first gather and prepare all the ingredients. Second, we're gonna make a small chemical experiment. Three, we will be taking care of our soup starters for five days and compare one day to another. Finally, we're gonna make two beautiful soups out of it. So for the Jurek soup starter, I'm gonna start with five tablespoons of ray flour. I'm gonna add to it three cloves of garlic that I cut into halves, two bay leaves and five allspice. I'm gonna to top it all off with half a liter of boiled water. It's still a bit warm, but it's not very, very hot. And then I'm gonna mix it all with a wooden spoon. Next, I'm gonna take a clean cloth, cover it, and then put something to hold. So the soup starter for Barsh Chibiawa is very similar. However, instead of ray flour, you need to use whole wheat flour, mąka pszenna, which is the main difference between those two soups. I'm adding here five tablespoons of whole wheat flour and again to keep it very similar to the other one I'm gonna use three cloves of garlic that I cut in half also two bay leaves and five oat spice I'm gonna to top it all off with half a liter of boiled water the second difference between Barst Biawe soup starter and Jurek soup starter is that I'm gonna add a tablespoon of marjoram and I'm not adding it into my Jurek. I'm gonna cover it with a clean cloth and then hold it in place. Again, you can see a rubber or a string. Today is the second day of preparing our soup starters. Yesterday we assembled them. Today it's very easy. What we're gonna do is basically take a wooden spoon and then mix both of them. So you can already see the difference in colors between them. So this one is Barshbia where you can see marjoram at the bottom and at the top and the color is different because of the wheat flour. And this one is Jurek which is uh, still very bright and a, a kind of white in comparison to this one. So we take a wooden spoon and again it should be wooden, not metal, and just mix it. And we're gonna cover it again and put the rubber band on top of it. And now I'm gonna repeat exactly the same with Jurek. And there it is, the difference between Barsh Chpiawe and Zurek after first mixing. Day 3. This is how we look before mixing. Zurek and Barsh Chpiawe. And today we have a little helper. Uh huh. It smells very intense with garlic, with all the old spice, and it has beautiful, beautiful color. So we are on. Now we're gonna take other spoon. So day four, we're gonna again take off the cloth and mix it again. This smells amazing. I can smell the marjoram, the garlic. That is just beautiful, beautiful smell. 
Oh, that smells luxurious already. I can smell the ray flower. It's beautiful. The garlic, it's just perfect. On the fourth day, you can already see that it changed consistency and now actual Zurek and Barshbjerg are much more sticky. Today is the fifth day of making them, so I'm gonna open them. Oh wow, they smell so different. So this one smells very deep and you can smell the fermentation. You can also smell the garlic, but the fermentation is much stronger than all the spices. And the Zurich one smells with the garlic more than with the actual fermentation, but both smell so much different. Also, you can see both of the colors are completely different. So Zurich is much brighter and whitish, where Barst Biawe is dark. I'm just gonna taste it. I'm not going to taste much, but I'm going to put my spoon in there and I can see flour on top of it. So you can taste the fermentation and it has that um, kvashne, which is acidity in there, but very, very nice. And this one, again, I'm just going to dip my spoon in there. That one ha is much more acidic than the Barspiawe. Oh my. Oh, I have so much saliva right now. So the difference are color, the flower that they are made from, marjoram, Barspiawe has it, Zurich doesn't, in the soup starter, and the flavor. More. So today is day six, and what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show you how to preserve them for up to two weeks and then I just want to get rid of the garlic and all the spices and that way and I'm just going to close it shake it and I'm going to put it in my fridge like that for up to two weeks Thank you for being with me today. I hope I explained the differences between Zurek and Barst Biawe so you will never be confused again. If you like this movie, please give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye!